He's the former first son, Jimmy Akena's troubles that are far from over, even before he could clear off uh, the recent Supreme Court ruling where he was ordered to pay costs in a suit. His rivals are again rushing and dragging him back to the courts. This time, it is Peter Warubiri Council who wants uh, to compel Jimmy Akena to account and refund all monies that uh, he received from 2015 to date. Akena, however, says he will not pay a dime because he's been in the business of reaping from where he did so. Richard Orwen kicks us off. From the time the late Joseph Bosa went to court in 2015 to challenge the Jimmy Akena election, Akena and his executive has been transacting business on behalf of the party, among which was managing the party account where government funding through the Electoral Commission is deposited. This is in addition to contributions from individual members of parliament on the UPC ticket for the running of the party. Now that the Supreme Court has maintained the ruling from the previous lower courts, all pointing that Jimmy Akena got into office as UPC president illegally in 2015, Peter Walubiri says that they are heading to court to demand a refund of all funds received and spent. Not only Akena, but the leadership of the EC, the government, we shall hold them liable. The challenge is that the institutions to hold him liable are the same institutions working with Mr. Akena. That's why we have to deal with the bigger problem of governance in this country. How do we get independent courts so that Akena is jailed for contempt of court? How do we get an independent police force so that Akena is investigated for abuse of UPC funds? Walubiri, who was among those eyeing the UPC presidency, says other institutions like the Electoral Commission will also face court for continuing to deal with Akena regardless of their numerous communications disowning Jimmy Akena as UPC president. I said, but are you serious? The courts have ruled that that man is not a president. In what capacity are you engaging him? So there are many people to account. Even the media, you will have to account because I see you referring to Akena as a president of a party, as if you are illiterate, as if you don't know the orders of court, you know? So you too will have to account. Akena, however, says he's not shaken by any threat, saying he owes no one accountability. That account gets contributions every month religiously for members of parliament. Who are the members of parliament? Jimmy Akena, Betty Amongi, Maxwell Akora, um, uh, Bobo Kai, Kenya Uma, Honorable Santa Lung, all members of, nominated by this UPC. There is no MP from any faction which people like to talk about. Not a single one anywhere. Regardless of the Supreme Court ruling, the embattled UPC president insists he is still the UPC president. I stayed in office under orders for a higher court. Even when we were going for the delegates conference, it is one of the issues I put in my um, statement here. They sought three orders. One, that I am to vacate office. Two, that the delegates conference does not take place. And three, that the accounts be blocked. The one where I'm supposed to vacate office was not granted. The Supreme Court recently maintained another lower court ruling nullifying the leadership of UPC President Jimmy Akena and his executive Richard Olwain, NBS. Live at nine.